Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more song reactions. This is taken from my August submissions on r slash Alex Heights. I don't know over here if you would like to submit your own song or album reaction suggestions. Uh, just so everyone knows, I am now starting to kind of hop around a little bit. I'm not doing every single thing that people want. Um, and if you, I skip over something that you've suggested and you want to you know, see it again, post it in a future uh, month or, you know, set of suggestion things and uh, it'll it'll be done there. But I have to kind of like filter this out a little bit now because I'm getting behind. So uh, we are now on Sid Barrett's Late Night. This is from the Madcap Laughs. Um, I, for those of you who don't know, I also do album reactions. That's actually my main bread and butter. I've just been doing more song reactions, just kind of fill in the, the gaps because I'm busier recently. Um, but I've done, pff, gosh, four, five Pink Floyd albums? I actually don't know. Um, Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, Animals, The Wall, Piper. So I've done five, I think. Maybe I'm missing one. Um, and uh, Piper is my favorite of those, by the way, uh, followed by The Wall. Uh, Madcap Laughs, though, um, is something I want to throw into my second Pink Floyd binge. I'll do so at some point in the future where I cover more of their earlier work, like uh, you know Adam Hart Mother, stuff like that. Um, but I want to throw this in there, too, because I really loved Sid Barrett's contributions to uh, Piper because uh, the, the weird experimental avant, not, not really avant-garde, but it was uh, very um, eclectic, psychedelic stuff going on in that album. And um, I've heard Slow Dive's cover of Golden Hair, which is fantastic, a nice like nine, I mean they do Golden Hair and then they just have like a basically seven minute long little uh, crescendo at the end, which is fantastic. But this is the last track off of Late Night. Um, I have not heard any tracks aside from Golden Hair. Um, I have heard the original Golden Hair, but uh, I have not heard anything else off this album. Um, and so I probably won't listen to any more off this album after this because I want to actually react to the whole album at some point. So uh, without further ado, uh, this is a 2020 high quality remaster. There's no better sounding version I could find on YouTube. So we just get this nice little picture of Sid Barrett looking extremely happy. Uh, this guy is living his best life now, though. I mean, that's next level. So anyway, late night. When I woke up today and you weren't there to play, then I wanted to be with you. When you showed me your eyes, whispered low of the skies, then I wanted to stay with you. Inside me I feel alone and unreal, and the way you kiss will always be a very special thing to me. When I lay still at night, seeing stars high in light, then I wanted to be with you. When the rooftops shone dark, all alone saw a spark, spark of love just to stay with you. Production sounds very similar to Piper. If I mention your name, turn around on a chain, then the sky opens out for you. 
when we grew very tall When I saw you so small Then I wanted to stay with you Inside me I feel Alone and unreal And the way you kiss Will always be a very special thing to me So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I like that. I like the. Uh, it 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 feels like there was like two songs happening at the same time, because uh, there would be like a distant backing track, uh, but then there would be like chords in the forefront that were played on the guitar that like didn't even seem to match. Um, but that's like part and parcel for for Sid Barrett, right? Because like. A lot of his music conveyed this like feeling of silliness, but there was like something like wrong with it. There was like a, like I described with the Piper uh, reaction. It's like it's feels like psychedelic music that's turned ill and gotten sick. Um, it just it just feels like it needs to lie down and take a rest. Um, and that's the, that's the vibe I get with with Sid's music in general. And it's it's very different from how Pink Floyd would come to sound after he departed. Um, because I just looked it up just now and, uh, he doesn't appear to be involved past Piper at the gates of dawn. Um, I don't think so. Right. Oh no, he's here. Okay. never mind. Um, but that's, that's basically when he departs, right? He's not involved with anything post 68 as far as I can tell. Um, no, so, yeah, I, I I find Sid to be a very interesting person, um, and his era of Pink Floyd has been my favorite so far, even though it's wildly different from other Pink Floyd. You could argue it's like Fleetwood Mac before and after the people joined, Lindsay and Stevie, right? Um, anyway, good stuff. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Until next time, Godspeed. <laughs>